Hello, it's George at Supreme UK. I'm a technical support engineer. I'm normally doing first line tech support. So if you do ring through to Supreme UK, I'm normally the first one you talk to. Uh, today, we're going to be unboxing the FaceStation F2, which is our newest device. Uh, it contains a new visual algorithm uh, so that you can actually register using a JPEG image. So if we go ahead and open the box. So included in the box, uh, just like all of our products, is a small user guide. Uh, it is the limited user guide. Uh, the full user guide is included on the website if you ever do need wiring specifics, uh, network specifics, fingerprint specifics, page specifics. Uh, we do also have the Linux uh, kernel distribution that this is built upon. Uh, we do include on all of our devices uh, yellow backing paper so that you'll be able to paste that onto the wall, drill the holes, make it all really easy for it to install onto the wall. There's also the wire packs. Uh, the wire packs that are included with the FSF2 uh, are RS485, relay connection, TTL for inputs, uh, power cable and weekend. Uh, there is also an install kit so that you can actually screw it to the wall. And then finally we have the actual device. Sorry. Uh, this device can be powered with either a 12 volt adapter or a 24 volt adapter. Uh, 24 volt is recommended as it's just more reliable uh, and they're both rated at 2.5 amps. Uh, on the actual device, the left camera is the uh, infrared camera, where the right camera is visual. Uh, it is a dual algorithm device, so it will take both visual enrolment and an infrared enrolment. It also does have a big LCD screen. Uh, you can put your own logo on that. Uh, it's where the actual enrollment will pop up and where your face appears on the screen as you're authenticating. This is the backing plate. So this will be what you put on the wall. Uh, this fits on a one-to-one -one scale with the actual yellow diagram. So as you can see, you just simply paste that. That is also a sticker, so you can normally this is also a sticker, so you can stick that to the wall, drill the holes, remove that from the wall, and then the actual backing plate will go up very easy. Uh, from the actual backing plate, it's five main holes to install the device, as well as three on the bottom if needed. Uh, once you've installed that, that also includes a magnet at the very bottom. Uh, that is used on secure tamper, so if it ever detects that the device has become disconnected from the magnet, it will wipe all the data on the device. So going to the back of the device, uh, it does contain an IP rated cover, uh, just so that uh, any wire connections are covered up. Uh, the speaker itself is also IP rated, so that is open at the back, but it is IP rated, so any water in the rest will be fine. If we unscrew the IP cover, we'll then be able to You'll then be able to remove that. That will give you access to the actual wiring portion of the device. Uh, all of our devices do have fly leads so that you can plug them in and out very easily. There's nothing to actually terminate on the device. Let me just show that with this way. So all of them are on connectors uh, so that they will just, so on the RS485 for example, they just very easily slot in and that's then connected. You can then terminate the opposite end and then integrate it either into your own system or more of our devices.